Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. We're going to go over a quick video on the maintenance alerts on this truck. Some people have been asking how to turn them off. Basically, go to your little left and right arrows here. You want to go till you find settings. Go down. A lot of people are looking in alerts because it pops up as a maintenance alert, but it is actually under maintenance. This is your up and down. Click it in for enter. And now you can see you got a whole list of stuff oil and filter air filter your tires your brake pads your brake brake fluid your battery you keep going down you got transmission coolant or transmission fluid engine coolant and your spark plugs other basically what this is is when you click on one again hit an enter you can see you can set a certain mileage or kilometers in my case i'm up in canada and basically we're at 1163 right now out of 8,000. When it gets to 8,000, you're going to get that alarm pop up. You can change it. If you go up here again, hit enter, it's going to let you pick. Do you want to do 85? You can go up and up and up and just decide how far up you want to go before that alarm comes on. For me, I have it at 8,000. I don't really go off of this, I go off the sticker. They put it on your window when you get your oil changed. But again, say we're at 8,000, that's what you want. Hit enter, and now you can see it counts down to 8,000. When you get to that 8,000 mark, because it's an oil and filter alarm, it's gonna pop up in the middle of your screen just like we're looking at now, and it's gonna say maintenance or oil and filter maintenance needed, and it's gonna pop up basically every time you start the truck until you get it done, or until you come in here and you hit reset. So if we push reset, it's going to do, do you want to confirm? In my case, I don't care. So yes. And now you can see it's back to zero. So now it's going to count in another 8,000 kilometers. We're at 17.5, you might as well say. So another 8K, it's going to pop up and tell me I need to get my oil changed. And then again, if you want to go back, you just push the left arrow. That'll go back. And the same thing, you can set it for your air filter. If you want to change your air filter every so many K, you can do that. Again, go back. Tires, this is more not to change your tires, but it's for rotating your tires. If you want to do it every four or 5,000 kilometers, you put that in, it's going to remind you to do it. So you don't have to keep track of how many miles you've driven in between. Same thing, brake pads, that's kind of, I don't really consider that needed in here, but they do add it on. You can tell when your brakes are going. It depends how hard you drive, where you're driving, what you're pulling, what you're towing, and how heavy your foot is. Brake fluid, that's a Nissan thing too. If you want, you can put it in. I believe they recommend like 60,000 60, kilometers or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. But again, you can set it in there if you want. Battery life, that is more just, you know, if your truck's not starting, it's probably the battery. You don't need a reminder for that. And then again, it goes all through here. You can go to other, and other is just whatever you have in your head. I don't know what you would have in there that's not already in here. But again, you can set it up as other. It'll pop up and it'll say maintenance, other. And then you know, okay, I set that whatever, however many miles ago. And that's how I need to do it. So if you're driving along and all of a sudden you get a ding and you got the maintenance alarm in the front of your face, one, if you bring it in, they're gonna do this for you and they're gonna reset it. Or two, if you do it all by yourself, you can actually come in here and set it to zero. I got all of them at zero, so it doesn't give me a bunch of alarms all the time. Again, this is over you know, months, not days or weeks. This will be over months. But again, if you wanna reset it, it's as easy as just going in Go to maintenance, hit your enter, and then you got your whole list of maintenance stuff right here to replace. Start it over, erase it, whatever you want to do, but it's just as easy as that. So if this helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the other videos. Thanks for watching this one, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one.